What is the Ringelblum archive? How did it survive the Second World War? And why do we need to constantly reassess its importance? The Ringelblum archive, also known as the underground archive of the Warsaw Ghetto, is a cache of materials and documents collected and preserved during the Second World War in the Warsaw Ghetto by a clandestine group of scholars and intellectuals known as Onek Shabbat. Today, the archive is housed at the Emanuel Ringelblum Jewish Historical Institute in Warsaw. The archive contains approximately 6,000 documents, about 35,000 pages, and is listed on the memory of the World Register by UNESCO. The organization was established by historian Emanuel Ringelblum in the fall of 1940 in Warsaw. It was created to document everything that happened to the Jews during the Second World War and under the Nazi German occupation. In an attempt to collect as many diverse materials as possible, Ringelblum and his collaborators also reached out to ordinary people. They asked them to record everyday life in the Warsaw Ghetto. Though based in Warsaw, members of Onek Shabbat reached out to others all around Poland. As such, the Ringelblum archive is one of the biggest sources documenting the Shoah and the fate of the over 3 million Polish Jews who perished. The majority of items they collected consisted of written materials like diaries and journals, as well as studies of different aspects of life in the ghetto. But the archive also preserved artefacts, like newspapers, Russian tickets, letters and postcards, Nazi German orders, invitations to events organized in the ghetto, leaflets, theater posters, school assignments, even tram tickets and candy wrappers. The archive also includes original works of art and literary pieces written in the ghetto, such as poems by poets like Itzhak Katznelson and Władysław Schlengel, and more than 300 drawings and watercolors, among them paintings by Gela Sechstein and remarkable drawings by Rosenfeld. The Ringelblum archive was buried in 10 metal boxes and two milk cans. The first cache was hidden in August 1942, at the height of the Great Deportation, and the second in February 1943, not long before the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising broke out. According to the surviving members of the Onek Shabbat, there was also a third cache, which has yet to be found. What we were unable to shout out to the world we hid underground. May this treasure end up in good hands. May it live to see better times. May it alert the world.